Hello all, in this IoT series video, we'll see a home automation project using Google Assistant, Blink and IFTTT. We'll be using the same Node MCU and the MB102 power supply as in the previous videos. And a 4 channel relay board to uh, connect uh, DC and AC loads. The D2 pin of Node MCU is connected to IN1 and D4 is connected to IN4. There is a jumper you have to remove from the uh, relay board and then connect uh, VCC to 3.3 volt and JD VCC to 5 volt. Uh, the load is connected to the other relay contacts. Always connect the power supply to load at uh, pole pin and uh, NO contact. Normally open contact is uh, connected to the actual load. Same way you can uh, connect for the DC as well as the AC load. As Node MC use 3.3 uh, volt device, you have to connect the 3.3 volt uh, pin to the power source. You can use the USB to PC to upload code and then you can remove it and then power, power up the MB102 using adapter. First you have to install the Blink app on phone. And then uh, IFTTT and uh, Google Assistant. IFTTT will be configuring from our PC. This IFTTT is uh, uh, if this then that. A web based uh, application which makes a chain between Google Assistant and uh, Blink. So instead of a Blink app, uh, from uh, it takes voice command from uh, Google Assistant and then uh, control the uh, relay board first let us uh, set the blink configuration on uh, android mobile phone open blink app and then uh, if any previous projects are there you can just uh, slide on the screen and then uh, delete it click on uh, new project and provide a name to the project i am giving name blink uh, uh, with uh, if triple t and the hardware we are using is node mcu so select the hardware as uh, node MCU and touch on OK. The uh, connection type is Wi-Fi and then click on create. Now you get an authorized ID on your uh, registered mobile phone, registered email ID. Now uh, select two buttons and then uh, realign the buttons. Touch on the first button. Provide a name to the button as uh, a fan as we are going to control fan from this and uh, touch on pin and select D2 as we are connecting D2 of MCU or node MCU and the logic level is uh, 0 to uh, 1 not 0 to 1 it is 1 to 0 1 is off and 0 is on as it is a low enabled relay board we are using the logic is reverse same way you touch on the second button and uh, create the buttons for uh, light on uh, and light off you have to select uh, switch mode for both the uh, both the buttons if you touch on play it will show uh, it is not online as we are not yet uploaded the code onto node mcu now close the blink app and then open arduino ide you have to install the arduino core for node mcu for this you open file preferences and then uh, paste the json code json link and from boards manager install uh, esp8266 uh, uh, link that is Arduino core for node mcu and then from uh, library manager you have to install the blink library these are all explained in our uh, 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 previous video you can please check the link below now from file examples under blink you can select the uh, board's Wi-Fi and uh, node MCU code. You can uh, do slight modification in this code and upload it onto node MCU. For authorized uh, ID, you have to replace the authorized ID from the one you got in your email. When you click the uh, create on uh, Blink app, you would have received one uh, authorized token in your mail. You copy that authorized token and uh, paste it here and you have to provide your SSID name and password to which the node MCU is connected for Wi-Fi access and under void setup you have to make uh, D2 and D4 pin initially high as we are using a low enabled relay board initially the load should be off for that you use digital write to make them high 
under a void loop we just blink run app uh, which will take care of the settings now uh, under tools you have to select the board as uh, node mcu 1.0 and the correct com port to be uh, selected and click on upload once the code is uploaded you can remove the usb connection from node mcu from pc and then provide a adapter to mb102 here we are i am using a 12 volt 1 ampere adapter you can switch on the mb102 power supply and allow some time to uh, for the node mcu to join with the wi-fi ssid here both the dc and ac loads are connected to the relay board and once you connect uh, ac supply to the relay board uh, avoid touching the relay board as uh, it is dangerous to uh, handle a relay board with ac load now open the blink app and then you can test the function with uh, touching on the uh, fan on button and light on button so the blink app is working according uh, to our setup now uh, close the app we have to configure the if triple t if this then that we will be configuring from our pc o open if triple t account you have to provide your uh, google uh, account uh, or email id for opening the account and click on create first you have to uh, do the settings for this you click on the plus symbol at this and search for google assistant so this if triple t will make a chain between google assistant and uh, uh, and then the web book that is the blink app now select the first phrase say a uh, single phrase and uh, under what do you want to say you type in fan on and the other way to call that as uh, switch on fan and the response you uh, need from the google assistant you type in ok switching on fan select uh, your preferred language that is english and then uh, create tig trigger click on uh, create trigger now you can see the google assistant uh, icon at uh, this uh, place now you have to configure that click on the plus symbol at uh, that and then type in web hooks select the web hook now select the make a web request and you will be presented with some fields to complete action first field is url field here uh, you have to provide the um, blink cloud ip and then the email uh, uh, and then the authorized id you got from the email id to know the ip address of blink cloud you have to open the cmd and then uh, type in ping blink-cloud.com you will get the ip address of uh, blink cloud copy this ip address and then inside the url field of if triple t type in http colon forward slash two slashes and then the ip address of blink cloud and a forward slash and then the authorized uh, ID which you received in the email while you created the Blink project from the from your email ID open your uh, uh, Blink uh, uh, Blink project link copy this uh, authorized token and then paste it here so after this uh, blink cloud ip and a forward slash you have to paste the authorized token and then a forward slash and update and a forward slash and then the digital pin where you connected the load for fan we have connected the load at d2 but while checking out the node mcu uh, pins for arduino core it is gpio 4 so you have to mention d4 for uh, operating the load at d2 you have to mention d4 this is slightly confusing but this is the way you have to operate the node mcu digital pins now after completing this url you just uh, copy this uh, uh, full link so that it will be useful for uh, the creating other hooks under uh, method you have to select put 
and uh, content type as application forward json and under body you have to send a zero there as we are using a low enabled uh, relay to make the load on you have to send zero between uh, double quotes and bracket now uh, click on create action now the web hook is uh, created click on finish you can see uh, you are created if you say fan on then uh, make a web request the first uh, web hook is created now you have to create uh, the second one for fan off again in the same way you click on the plus on uh, this uh, uh, link and search for google assistant under google assistant select the first phrase and then what you want to say you type in fan off and the other way to say is uh, switch off fan and the response from google assistant is uh, ok switching off fan and click on create trigger now the this link is created now click on the plus symbol at that and search for web books select the web request and uh, paste the url we created the previously the url is same and uh, uh, the method is put and the application forward json is the content type and uh, body is one to switch off the load we have to send one between double quotes and bracket now create action now the se second web book is created now you have to create uh, two more web books for uh, light on and light off just in the same way you just uh, click on uh, uh, create and then repeat the actions as we did for the previous buttons under google assistant uh, you have to uh, type in the phrase you want to say and then the response from google assistant and uh, create trigger and under that uh, you select web books and url you have to copy and paste the previous uh, url we created for other buttons as we have connected load at d2 for light for light you check up the uh, gpu pin it is uh, uh, gpu 4 so you have to mention uh, uh, it is gpu2 you have to mention d2 so again create uh, for the fourth and final button that is uh, light off create a trigger for this and under web goods hooks you create the url and the body is one that is uh, you send one to switch off the uh, light load now under uh, uh, my uplets you can uh, see all the uplets you have created four uplets we have created one is for light off light on and uh, la fan off and fan on totally four uplets so finally you have to install the google assistant on your android uh, mobile open the google uh, play store and search for google assistant and then install it initially you have to train the google assistant for your voice you follow the directions given on the screen and you have to say ok google and hey google uh, two or three times to train the google assistant for your voice the google assistant will be running on the background so you just say hey google or ok google to start the google assistant and then uh, give the commands Okay, Google, switch on light. Okay, switching on light. Okay, Google, switch off light. Okay, switching off light. Okay, Google, switch on fan. Okay, switching on fan. Okay, Google. Switch off fan. Okay, switching off fan. Thank you for watching.